I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Thursday morning, the 20th of July, the year 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Romans in the New Testament, Romans chapter 12. And I'm reading verse 2. Paul says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We've got to sanctify ourselves. What does the word sanctification mean? Well, according to the Oxford Dictionary, it means that we are to make ourselves holy to make something legal or right. Yes, to be a living epistle, a living letter. People need to read us when they see us walking down the street by the way in which we behave. We need to understand as followers of Jesus Christ that we have to walk the talk. Remember, Dad, your son will not do what you tell him. He will do exactly what you do. And that's quite scary, isn't it? So if you are a heavy drinking man and you tell him, I don't want to ever see or smell alcohol on your breath, you can be rest assured, as soon as he comes of age, he'll do exactly what you do. We really need to be an example to our fellow man. We need to do the right thing. Not to impress man, but rather to be obedient to God. We need to pay our income tax. Not because we believe in the government, but because it's the right thing to do. We need to be no man's debtor. Don't owe people money if you've got the money. Pay them. You say, no, well, I've got 90 days to pay it. Pay it as soon as you can. Why? Because it's not yours anyway. Don't take advantage of other people. We need to make our loved ones proud of us by the way in which we live. This has got nothing to do with trying to earn your way to heaven, by the way. No, no, we are saved by grace through faith, and that not of ourselves, for it was a gift from God. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Nobody knows that better than me, but we have got to live a life that is pleasing to God. And this is about not becoming a stumbling block to our fellow man. People are watching you. When you say you're a follower of Christ, I can tell you something now, you are on display all the time. Do not conform to this world's system. Just because everybody else is doing something, that doesn't make it right. Just ask yourself a simple question every day. What would Jesus do in that situation? And then do it. And I want to tell you, you will have a life of success, a life of peace, and a life of joy. Have a wonderful day as you walk the talk. Jesus bless you and goodbye.